What's going on guys? Bang Lee here coming back at you with another video. Today, we're back on Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty today. That is redundant, but we are facing the South Alabama Jaguars. Very close and overall to the Outlaws as we continue to improve. We are taking names today. Every single player that plays in this game for South Alabama. We're going to roll right on through. Coming off a very close game, spoiler alert if you didn't watch it, but the spoiler is that um, we won 38-31 over Louisiana Lafayette. We are 4-0 in the Sun Belt. This could be our toughest Sun Belt matchup thus far. South Alabama, 3-1, 5-4 overall. They look like they're a very comparable team to us. Offense isn't quite as good, but they do have a much better defense, statistically. So, we could be in for a rough one. At Lad People Stadium. I think we played South Alabama in Louisiana last time. So, we're experiencing their red jerseys for the first time. And I gotta be honest, I don't think I like them. <laughs> I don't think I really like them that much. This is an interesting looking stadium. Maybe the strangest I've seen so far, if I'm being honest. It is weird, but I like to see that Ozark is starting to travel a bit better. Look at that packed section up there in the top left of your screen. Read option. Davis shuts down. Simeon Petty for the sack, who's celebrating like he did anything. You are lucky that Tariq Parrish was there to make that play. Because that could have been really, really bad. I was talking a lot about Tariq Parrish... Last episode, I asked you guys to tell me your favorite player, so make sure to do that for this one as well. I'd like to know. He's a player that's slowly becoming one of my favorites. He has been good as Davis is going to run. And, okay. Okay. What is happening? Who is this guy, Dallas Davis? Was he, he giving us a lot of trouble last year? Looks OP. Another read option. And that is unlucky. Jeff Wolf for Dallas Davis. Great tackle by Jeff Fisher, but he was blocked essentially right into him. Very fortunate to make that play. And we're going to go into adjustments. Big hits. I think we're going to go conservative. Just try and uh, tackle. And then we're going to focus on the QB. Third and six. They're thrown to the flat. Johnson is wrestled down by Lightning McQueen. Good tackle. And overall... Good defense from us to start. We weren't really impressed by their rankings offensively. So I think we should be coming out and making a few stops this game. I like that we're doing it on the first try. And now we'll have to see what our offense can do. Top ranked, by the way. We're, well, we're like pretty high up there in the nation. Colby Spencer coming off a fantastic game. But this South Alabama defense is no joke. They're top 20 in the nation. If I recall from some of those rankings. Here's Scott Lewis. Decent spin move. You could have broken that tackle. That would have been a big gain. But I'm telling you what. Sometimes it takes a little while to get Scott Lewis going. Whether it's blocking or what. We just we just can't seem to, to find the, you know, the open field and the big gain sometime with him. It's a lot of one and two yard gains getting tackled for a loss. It's brutal. Third and nine. We are having a bit of trouble. I'm trying to wait on these things to develop. I was so caught up in whether to throw to Jake Rodriguez or wait for the outside B route to develop. And we end up not being able to go to either. What a bad start. Thrown over the middle. McCray holds on. Oh, great tackle. What a play by Sandoval Slaughter. Shuts down any possible option the quarterback could have had. No pun intended on the option. What a play. And another big tackle, this time by Byron Fulton. We are not allowing anything from South Alabama. But that's a new school rushing record on that play, really? <laughs> yeah, good stuff there. It's 
It's a big play by Jake Rodriguez. I didn't think it would have happened. He's getting a little bit fancy with the shake and bake there on the juke. I like it. Rolling out with Colby Spencer. Look at the speed. Big block from Roland Francisco. And wow. Number three getting over there on defense. That's a fantastic tackle. Weird play action. Oh, we're going to check down. Rob Gaither. That is overthrown and intercepted. Looking a bit like Kyle Aletta out here. This defense is no joke. Number three, man. Deontay Thomas. We might want to avoid the right side of the field. He looks like he's playing real well today. They're going deep. Complete to Taylor. Jameer Taylor. Goodness gracious. This We can't stop this offense either now, apparently. They're going deep. That's got to be a pick. It's the outlaw on the outlaws. Chris Outlaw. Pick up a block. Here we go, Kobe Spencer. Just slide. We're going downfield. Okay. All right. Third and four. Oh, my God. I don't know if it's just me or now in my own head. I cannot beat this defense. I can't figure it out. It looks like their defensive line is just too fast. Might want to really try to start running the ball more to our running backs and stop relying on the athleticism of Colby Spencer because his stamina just isn't there right now. We can't continue to just like try and make gigantic plays with him. Third and five. We're sending heat. And it's wide open. Rankemeyer. I don't like that last name. There's something about it that just... I don't know. Take him down. At your own, you know, timeline. Whatever, I guess. Go to the flat. Give me a user pick. I'm trying. Read option, handoff goes to Johnson. And he is just weaving his way through our entire defense. Handoff goes up the middle to uh, their running back. Jay Bui? B U I E. What is that? I'm here with Trinity Christian running back Jalen Bui. How are you doing? You good. How are you doing? <laughs> Here we go, Scott Lewis. Five yard pickup, I'll take it. Second and five handoff to Scott Lewis. Breaks a tackle, falls forward, first down. And there's a flag, I think it's coming back. It will be a holding. Oh, they blitz, heavy. Spencer's fast, but how fast is he? Fast enough, clearly. He's still going down the sideline. Picks up 26. Second and four, read option. Give me a good block. There it is. We're just going to slide. Is that number three coming for us, Thomas? Yeah, I'm not taking a hit from him. That's open. Spencer lobs it. That should have been a bullet. What am I doing? What am I doing? I got to avoid Deontay Thomas. I keep finding a way to get him the ball. He doesn't play on my team. Karan Kirkpatrick open down the sideline. Spencer hits him. Number one on the field. Number one in your heart. Can't get into the end zone. But we're getting it real close now. Colby Spencer rolling out. Good block by Scott Lewis. Where's the flag? What is that? It's a tie ball game. Either way, 7-7. Seven, seven. 
Ridiculous late hit in the end zone. So read option goes to the running back, Johnson. It's kind of the best play we could have made. Oh, there we go. Dallas Davis goes down. That was Byron Fulton on the blitz. I don't know how he gets so many sacks. We got to check his numbers at some point. We'll check the stats, uh, season stats. Somebody wanted to see those. We might do that at the end of this episode or at the start of the next one. Although there probably will be a lot going on at the start of next episode with recruiting. So we'll certainly have to see. Big tackle. Let's go, Derek Higgins. What an open field tackle to save a huge play. Get over there, Simeon Petty. Wow. Good on him for uh, getting out there. Picking up an extra couple yards after contact. But South Alabama will punt. We're going to have some time to score. Stop blitzing me. That's open, though. Spencer on the money. Roland Francisco jukes back inside, but that's a fantastic tackle. 50-yard pickup, though. Rolling out. We're going to throw that on the run. Over and complete to Karan Kirkpatrick. 26-yard touchdown. Colby Spencer makes a very difficult throw look easy. Rolls out, non-throwing side, and just dips it right over the head of the defensive back into the end zone for the touchdown. We score quickly. Two plays, 75 yards, 28 seconds. And now maybe South Alabama even has some time to score before half. That's open. That's no good. Taylor with another big play. This time 23 yards. We were in a mismatch trying to send some heat. And it didn't work. They got rid of the ball too quickly. They're going to the end zone. <laughs> what am I talking about? I have no idea. That's not the end zone. Not even, not even that close, honestly. Third and four. Eight seconds remaining. Sandoval Slaughter playing some linebacker. And they're going short to McCray. Can't intercept it. And uh, they're acting like Bengus. Bengus Khan is not calling a timeout there. They <laughs> I did not call a timeout. That was South Alabama calling their final one. And I'm sure they will kick this field goal in successfully. They do. It is 14-10. After a very interesting half, if you, if you will. We're going to have to come back, rebound in the second half, play better. We're going to start with the football. Oh, Gaither. How did he get through there? No one even tried to tackle him. That was easy. It was our first catch of the game. Maybe that's why we haven't been great offensively. We're not getting the ball to arguably our biggest offensive playmaker outside of Colby Spencer. He's unquestionably been the best receiver on this team. Doing a lot of damage from the slot. We're just to throw it away here. Rolling out. Looking for space. Finding it. And wow, good pursuit. Third and ten. Oh, I want to go Gaither there. We're going to settle for that. It's way better. And it's just not on the money. It's almost another interception. To Thompson. Wait, I thought he was wearing number three. What is he wearing? Two now? How many Thompsons are there? Why does Coach want me to go for it? Coach, we're going to make it a touchdown game with a field goal. Just relax. 52 yards. There's no way this is makeable. We're going to have to go for it. Fourth and ten. Let's convert here. I don't even know where we go. They're set up to defend this really well. Might be a check down. It's Pedro Goddard in the game. We're going to take off with him. And we pick up the first down. Barely. Colby Spencer. Strained shoulder. He's going to hop back in. Play through the pain. It's what he does. He gets injured every game. And he hops back in. 
and he plays great. Maybe that injury was uh, just what we needed to get him back and playing well. Check down to Rodriguez. What is that? I tried to turn up field. What is that? Oh my goodness. We just end up getting a better field goal. And I kind of rushed that. Kick is good though. We move up by a touchdown, 17-10. Going deep down the field. Oh my goodness, that's my bad. Uh, I held Y and I didn't get an animation and then I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I know he wouldn't have made the play himself, but it's just, uh, what do I, I'm trying so hard to make these big plays. That was almost a big tackle. How is that not a tackle by Tariq Parrish? Oh my God, game. It's gonna be a run up the middle. Big tackle by Derek Higgins. We need to come out in uh, four defensive line set for real. I don't know what we're in right now, but it wasn't good. Big tackle. Jay, Bue, Bui? I don't know, Daryl Joseph made the play. Third and goal. They're going to the end zone. That's a, that's a screen I couldn't get over. Come on. Touchdown, South Alabama gonna tie this game up. And that is a new school record for passing touchdowns in a, in a what say, a career? I thought it said season at 22. Career? Really? Maybe I didn't read it right. That's open. Good pass to Rob Gaither. First down. Open. Spencer. Where are you? I don't get how we can act like he's the best quarterback in the NCAA one game and then airmail everything the next. This has been his worst game as an outlaw, in my opinion, so far. He's going to need to step up in this, this third and fourth quarter in this second half as Quincy Rust... Where's this breakaway speed coming from? 51 yard touchdown. It looked like he had 99 speed. Unbelievable touchdown. That came out of nowhere. Big tackle. Shut that down completely. I think it was Byron Fulton, yeah. He's having another great game. He has these performances sometimes where he's playing up pretty much exclusively in the box and he's getting pressure and he's getting these tackles for loss. He's he's a playmaker. We have some guys that just make plays sometimes. I know everyone gives them up, but we have these guys that come out and they have gigantic games seemingly out of nowhere sometimes. As Davis gonna throw, Fisher not great in coverage and Rankemeyer is still going. Or Rankmeyer, whatever. That's gotta be a pick! Blank and shit make the play! Somehow it's gonna end up being a tackle for loss. He broke that tackle, for real. And he's still going. And he's got a touchdown. What is going on? Xavier Johnson. I don't even know how he just scored that. That was a great run. Oh, how is that complete to Jake Rodriguez? I don't know. I do the old classic where I don't really mean to hit A, and I do. I was kind of looking for RB there on the slant. As you can see, that's getting open. <laughs> and I throw into traffic. I get so lucky sometimes. I love it. Gaither. Over the middle. Complete inside the 10. Rob Gaither. As Colby Spencer's starting to get it going a little bit here. Running with Spencer. Diving. Can't quite find the end zone. Big gain of eight, though, as Colby Spencer nearing 100 yards. Hand off. Lewis. Easy touchdown. We go back up ahead. Going to be 31-24. 
28 seconds remaining in the third quarter. We're going to look to stay up, play some good defense heading into the fourth. Dude, they're just running the ball down our throats right now. Every single player in my defense just not able to make a play and shut down the run. I know we're in nickel, but they keep coming out in these big receiver sets. Three receivers on the field, and they keep running the football. How do we counter this? They can pass the ball. They can run the ball. As you can see, Tariq Parrish and man coverage isn't even close. Get in the backfield. Big sack by Daryl Bradford. He's been playing so well this year. How old is he? Senior? I don't know. Daryl Bradford's a freshman? True freshman? Oh my goodness. So not a senior by any stretch of the imagination. And he's already this good? Dangerous. Okay. That's open. Try to get over there with Derek Higgins, but South Alabama too good right now. We're in another one score game. Another one touchdown game at the end of here. We gotta step up. Option. Wow, he just ran right through me. Oh my goodness. They're just They're just making us look like a bunch of little boys on defense right now. It's going to be 31-31, five and a half minutes to play here in the game. Colby, get there on third down. Wow, he shut down. What a play. It's fourth and one from the 26. I feel like we have to punt here. We have to punt. That's brutal. Gotta make the play there, Outlaw, no! The defense has to make a play. We're gonna lose this game to South Alabama. Their offense has been unstoppable. Dallas Davis is insane. Petty driving back, that's open. Paris trying to make a hit, no. Oh no, they're gonna score. They're gonna score a touchdown as well. Oh, the ball's out! The ball's out! Unreal! Colt Nash, Colt 45, ripped it out and recovered it. Nearly a safety. They're gonna call it a touchback. We're, there's a booth review. We're gonna have to check this one out. That Everything happened so fast there. Was it Derek Higgins who ripped it out? It's tough to tell if it came out and that knee looks down. That knee looks down. Yeah, that's almost certainly becoming overturned. Reverse, yep. Brutal. Thought we caught a big break there, and we did not. It's first and goal for the Jaguars. Up the middle, that's an easy touchdown. Who is this guy? Down, gonna be down 38 31. Three minutes to play, plenty of time. I mean, it just goes to show you with our punter and our defense when we're in those fourth and one situations, even if it's from our own 26, we have to go for it because they're gonna score anyway. Now we know it's been a close game, we've allowed almost 500 total yards. We need to, uh, we need to get better on defense, man. It's, it's crazy, this the way this defensive line just flies. Ooh. Third and 17. Somebody get open. It's going to be Rodriguez. Open over the middle. First down. That's really our scapegoat. When we're in a tough spot, just throw the ball to Jake Rodriguez. His sixth catch, 71 yards on the game. 
We can still win this. Third and eight. This is a huge play. And we're going to throw that ball. It's not even close. That was Ted, Rob Gaither. It's not even close. And we're going to have to go for it. When did we lose a timeout? Was it the field goal earlier? I think it might have been. Was that in the third quarter? I don't know how we're going to get this. Just get a bunch of routes out here. Somebody's got to get open. I want to run for it. I mean... This is tough. I almost want to call a timeout. Get some more stamina back. We're going to snap the ball, though. Looking for an open option. Trying to find one. We're going to throw that ball. Who is that to? What do you mean? Oh, my goodness. We got to jump in replay mode for this. I'm going to break down exactly what I'm thinking throughout this entire play. So, we snap the ball. I'm looking around. I don't see any option. I think you might be thinking this one, but I don't like the defensive back being right there. Don't think we can sneak it in. Also, watching this uh, post of sort, inside corner, don't really like it. Start to roll out of the pocket. Have some time. What throw is available here? It's to the running back, Darren Maxwell. That's a tight window, especially to a running back. Didn't really like that option. Obviously didn't like the run with him bearing down. This wasn't going to be open because of the linebacker, so we're still waiting. Still waiting for something to happen. Looking for an open option. Who's going to get open? Who's going to get open? More pressure coming in. This time from the defensive lineman. We throw the ball. These two are open. There's space. I go to Roland Francisco coming back to the ball. He has space. And it's over here? I get that he was kind of under pressure. But that's not even close. Look at where the ball ended up going versus the target receiver, Roland Francisco. That's crazy. Big hit in the backfield. No. That's brutal. Cough up the ball. Do me a favor. Colby Spencer injured, but he'll be back. It's third and eight. We still technically have a chance. It's not a very good one. We're taking the deep zone out of here with Blankenship, and we're just going to come up and try to make a tackle. And we don't. That's the game. No one can wrap up. We're coming out in 4-6. A formation literally designed to stop the run. And we don't even come close. That's the game. We're going to drop this one to South Alabama. It's an ESPN classic, apparently. I don't know who's going to want to watch this one. Uh, that was tough. This was a game I really thought we could win. It was uh, a pretty... Similar matchup overall wise, production wise over the course, record wise. And South Alabama was just the better team today. That is going to do it for me though, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video regardless of the loss. They will happen. I know we can play some teams tight. I feel like we play up to the team's level that we're facing usually. I know we got rocked by Houston week one. I know we got annihilated by Houston. I know we lost to South Alabama now, dropping a 6-4. and four. But we hang with these good teams. We hung with LSU. We beat Notre Dame. We're not going to let this loss stop us. We're trying to get to this conference championship game. We're certainly going to qualify for a ball. And in week 14, we have Western Kentucky. I will see you there. It's a big week. We gotta win. Take it easy.